science and public health when it comes to this pandemic and violated basic standards of honesty and de decency in unprecedented numbers, a clear majority of Americans voted to say, that's it, we're finished with you. And replace him with President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, incidentally two senators who've served honorably on this committee. The election sent a clear message. It's time to stop relitigating issues of the last election. It's time finally to put behind us the divisiveness and vitriol of the Trump era and to bring our fractured country together to address COVID number one and put our economy back on its feet. But here we are today, seven days after that election, and our committee is holding another partisan hearing to advance President Trump's theories. This is the fourth hearing this year on the last administration, the previous administration's Justice Department, in response to President Trump's repeated calls to investigate the investigators and to try to rewrite the story of Russia's involvement in the 2016 campaign. Meanwhile, the Senate Judiciary Committee that we sit on here hasn't held a single oversight hearing on the Trump administration's Justice Department in this Congress. Any issues we might want to raise? I can think of a few. Perhaps we might even investigate the Department of Homeland Security and their zero tolerance policy. I regret what happened to Carter Page, and I've said so before, but I also regret what happened to 2,200 infants, toddlers, and children who were physically removed from their parents by the zero tolerance policy of the Trump administration and the fact that 545 of those children still are in an abandoned status today. 545. So my question is... Correct, Senator Cruz. We are. He's the incoming National Security Advisor. And, and Mr. McCabe, yesterday on MSNBC, Ben Rhodes, the former Deputy National Security Advisor to President Obama, said that foreign leaders are already having conversations with Joe Biden, quote, talking about the agenda they're going to pursue January 20th. Mr. McCabe, based on that testimony, do you believe Joe Biden is violating the Logan Act?